Good morning, Home Awesome Nation. Um, it is Tuesday morning, rainy, cloudy, another week of fun. Um, we would like to talk to you, frankly, in regards to um, what we see on the news quite a bit, uh, especially lately with all the Biggest Loser contestants coming out with how much weight they've gained back, and it's not their fault, and, and it's heredity's fault, and uh, what have you. And um, We would just want to tell you that, in all actuality, um, it Blame it on whatever you want to blame it on. A busy day at work. Um, it's not my fault. It's my dad's fault. It's not my fault. It's my mom's fault. It's my grandparents' fault. It's uh, it, straight up truth is, and I don't mean to be rude about it, but it's very disappointing to us because it is your fault. I mean, um, we come from a morbidly obese uh, background. Um, my family on my father's side um, was morbidly obese. They're all gone. Uh, nobody lived past the age of 71. Um, they all were type 2 diabetic due to morbid obesity. They all ate out all the time. They all smoked all the time. They all drank all the time. Um, he was adopted into another family when he was three months old that were farmers, if you will. They were Quakers that lived off the land. Uh, they, that, uh, and for lack of better words, they cooked their own meals. They, they, uh, um, um, ate healthy, they, ate, they, they, they did were manual labor. Right, were constantly growing vegetables um, and eating them. Uh, same thing as fruit. Um, he lived on a farm uh, in a suburb. Um, and my wife is from Germany and in her family. Go ahead. We also had obesity. My great grandmother, my father's mother, um, she died at 42. My dad's young, my dad's brother uh, died at 32 from blocked heart arteries, atherosclerosis, um, and he had tried every diet, every doctor diet, every fad diet, and was a male nurse, and um, resorted to stomach stapling, and then two weeks later he died from the heart issue of the blocked heart arteries. Um, so, and he was obese his whole life, uh, well over three, four hundred pounds at six foot three. Um, so we have it on both sides, but it's a matter of what you choose, how you choose, um, what it's cooked in, what it's not cooked in. Um, your portion control, major thing, portion control. We are more sedentary today, so we have to cut back on portion size due to the fact that we are more sedentary, which means cut back on the bad carbs, which are your noodles, your rice. Um, have more of your good carbs, your vegetables, your fruit. They are your friends. They are low on the glycemic index, so it's not going to spike blood sugar. Um, you need to incorporate your healthy fats and oils, like your nuts and your avocados and your coconut oil, your grapeseed oil, whatever you choose to cook in. Um, they can cook at a higher temperature. Um, learn to incorporate these into your daily life and your daily routine and Stop you will slowly see changes everything in the in the restaurants is super size all you can eat all you can drink all this all that it, it's just setting everybody up for failure because it's it's all about gorging yourself to the point where you're so over full you feel sick and that's not healthy it, it, it really is um, exactly, you know, there's so many factors involved. A lot of people have a very, very, very tough day, um, very stressful day. You have no idea what we deal with every single day as far as stress of raising three teenage children, two girls and a boy, what comes our pipe, our, our down our pipe, with the things that we deal with. Our, our children making the wrong decisions just as we did growing up, and we have to deal with the outcome of that. Um, and we have to discipline them. We have, all, we, you know, as well Work as stress. Yeah, as well as helping people get on on the right path. On top of it all, we all have problems. We all have issues. Dealing with it by running to food is not not the answer. Right, and 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 you know, I love to eat. I love. I've said it time and time again. I love to overeat. But in order to look like this, you have to count what goes in and goes out. Again, and more so as we get older because your metabolism slows down every year. Right. It's just like if you're going to drive your car and it has no gas gauge in it, and you're not going to monitor how many miles you're driving, if you run out of gas, it's, it's going to happen. You're going to go, oh, what happened? I ran out of gas. How'd that happen? It's the same thing as eating. 
you don't count the calories that are burning out and you don't count the calories that are coming in, how do you expect to stay in shape? It's just not going to happen. You must do the math calculation. There's so many apps out there. Reach out to us. We will help you. We will guide you. We do so much in the way of internet training that we have our own web page now dedicated to internet training, not just in-house. Um, if you can't get to us, you can get to us via the internet if you're not in the surrounding area. Um, with that being said, you know, look at the positive. Don't look at the negative. Everything that is worth fighting for is worth the reward. If nothing comes easy, is worth the reward. Everything that falls in your lap is not worth the reward. If you want bigger arms, if you want a six pack, there's no 10 days to a six pack. There's no six days to a detox. It takes time. It takes time. You have to monitor everything you do. Uh, as well as stay positive, stay focused, deal with the outcome of life and everything that comes your way with a smile. When you do, it makes the whole world better. You know, there's so many people that we've come upon in our life. My in-laws, my beloved mother-in-law and father-in-law died six years after I met them, you know, due to cancer. Everybody gets sick, everybody dies. We all have problems, but you've got to deal with it with positive attitude. If you don't look at it in a positive way, Nothing in life will be easy. All right? Have a great day. Stay positive. Stay focused. Peace.